Hey, what's going on, friend? Juan Pablo here from 100% Finance at 100%Finance.com. All right, so today I'm going to discuss phase four of a four step process of acquiring a cash flowing multi unit property. Stay tuned. All right, great guys, let's get back into it. Now with phase four, that's where we discuss the close. Now this is the most exciting part of the four phase process that we teach at 100% Finance in regard to acquiring a cash flow and multi-unit property. Phase four is all that, it's all about the close. It's the, it's the victory lap, right? It's the final lap. But you don't walk to the finish line, you run to the finish line. All right, so when you're in that final stretch, this is where you uh, do a lot of important things. You decide whether you're gonna do property management yourself or outsource it to a company and make sure you screen them to, to ensure that they're reputable. This is where you also make sure you get the keys in hand, you wire the money to the closing attorney, close remote, all that good stuff. But today, we're gonna to focus mainly on the HUD, the settlement statement, because it's extremely important. I cannot, I cannot say this enough. It's extremely important to make sure you verify that settlement statement to ensure that it's accurate. Because if the closing attorney, again, they're human, so sometimes they make mistakes. I've caught mistakes many times, not just on my own uh, HUDs and settlement statements, but those of our clients, right, who join in our multi-unit acquisition program. And you have to make sure that you have a fine eye and comb through it line by line to ensure it's accurate. Because if it's inaccurate, guess what? You guessed it, it can cost you money. All right, so for this video, I'm gonna jump into my home office and we're gonna look at a HUD on my computer, all right? So we're gonna switch from seeing my pretty face up close and you're like, whoa, bro, yo, you way too close, and bro, I ain't trying to call another man for, hey, you know, I'm just kidding, bro. You know, I'm just kidding, bro. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let me stop being silly. Let's get into it and I wanna definitely show you what I look at when I review a HUD setup statement. All right, stay tuned. All right, great guys, so here we are. So I'm gonna review this HUD. So this is actually a, a property that I closed on um, and I'm just sharing with you some of the things I look at. So I'm not gonna go in depth. I have a checklist, cause I don't just do this off the top. I have a checklist so that way I ensure I don't make a mistake. Cause I wanna do real estate investing based upon memory. It's extremely important guys to have a checklist and that's what we offer for our clients in our multi-unit acquisition program, okay? But just for uh time purposes to save some time i'm just going to review this with you okay all right so let's get into it all right so you see here is the settlement statement i normally call it the hud because it's short for housing and urban development so if you ever hear me say hud or settlement statement it's the same difference all right cool cool so you see the borrower name here so this is there's limited partnerships between the partners and i we're buying it and here's the information of the seller who's selling the property and this is the bank who's actually going to finance the property all right now we have the property address here the settlement company is here settlement date and the place of settlement so all the stuff's important just to just for me is if you're doing a limited partnership and you're the general partner or the manager as i am in this case you want to make sure that you keep everybody abreast of the closing date meaning we're closing on this date guys so make sure you have your money partners Hey, seller, we're going to be closing as well. Hey, agents, you want to make sure you notify everyone as well as the place because you would hate to say, oh, I thought I was going to be closing remote. Oh, I thought we would be closing in person. So you want to notify everyone of the settlement details. Got it? So this area up here is extremely important. And the, the bottom part, the numbers, of course, is important too. So with this deal, we actually got on the contract for 180000 This is a six unit, by the way, six units. And uh, we were able to negotiate the seller down a uh, or to provide us with two thousand off the purchase price because there were some issues that we that developed in phase three, which is doing due diligence, and we were able to reduce the purchase price by two thousand as a result. So that's why it's decreased here. But you see, settlement charges we'll get into later on the second page of this document. All right, and these are some taxes. This is prorated on both sides, whether it's on the buyer and on the seller. This is the buyer side. See borrower's transaction. And here's the seller side. So you want to focus more so on the, the borrower side. Earnest money, that's the money we put up front. This is the uh, mortgage amount that we have. This is just a deposit in regard to uh, the rents from um, that was collected because I think we closed 
and there was some rents credited to us, purchase money note. So this is pretty much a um, uh, seller financing here. Okay, so that's cool. And security deposits were credited to us. Oh no, here's the rent preparations here. We got this as well. This is just a deposit that we made to go towards the deal. And uh, here is the uh, August rents as well, credit to us. Total pay by the, by the borrower. So for this six unit, we only had to come out of pocket towards the down payment and closing as well. Uh, a little under $36,000, so it's affordable. So you might be thinking, what? You got a six unit, you only came out of pocket $36,000? Yeah, it just depends on what market you're in. If you're interested in investing in cash flow and multi-units and in, in markets that my team and I invest, then just check the links below in the description, you'll be able to learn more. Now the seller side, you don't have to focus so much on his aspect, so it looks like he under free and clear. So he got a big payday. <laughs> well, this is the thing that we care about is the borrow side. And then I will sign here because I'm the limited, not the limited partner, the general partner. So I will sign here, okay? So that's pretty much what I look for. I wanna make sure that we got our rent proration, security deposit credits, the earnest money deposit is credited. And I wanna see what our closing costs are, the taxes, and the total amount of money we had to bring to the table. All right, so the next page, I just want to look at the settlement costs. So I see about the loan fees, because you understand when you're closing on the property, uh, the broker got to get paid. So there's going to be fees involved, points involved, and things of that nature, okay? And you see some here, some other additional charges. So I'm not going to go into this in depth. I'm just trying to share with you, since I don't have my checklist handy, I'm just giving you a brief overview via YouTube. Uh, I go in depth, of course, for our clients in our multi unit acquisition program. But one of the things I want to share with you is I check out the appraisal fees because sometimes they might double charge you. We'll pay the appraisal out of pocket, then we'll see it again on here, double charge. So you want to make sure that it doesn't happen. But uh, everything looks uh, hunky dory, looks good. So the total settlement charges were $7,000, so a little over $7,000, which isn't too bad for a multi unit property. So that's pretty much the rundown of what I go to in regard to verifying or auditing a HUD, the settlement settlement state. Yeah, baby, yeah. All right, my friend, there you have it, right? So we analyzed the HUD, so hopefully it was a great learning opportunity for you, but this was pretty much a case study for you. It was practice, but I know, you, I know it's important to practice, but I definitely want you to get in the game. And if you're just like me, you want to start getting in the game and closing cash flowing multi-unit properties, then this is what I want you to do. I want you to check the link below in the description and take action. Don't just be a viewer, be a doer. Take action, my friend, because guess what? You can do it. Even though you might not have all the money, have all the credit, all the connections, the sport group, trust me, as long as you put that in your mind that you are a multi-unit real estate investor, that you're financially free and independent, in a short matter of time, my friend, you will become what you think about. Here's a quote. Your most dominant thought will always be a reality. So if your dominant thought is you can do it, guess what? It will become reality. All right, guys, peace. As always, this is to your success. Man, someone getting arrested out there? <laughs> it's like noisy. It's funny. But as always, guys, this is to your success. Continue to earn passively, live passionately. Take care.